Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels, and this week, the parable of the two debtors, a short parable found in the Gospel of Luke. Let's take a look. A certain creditor had two debtors, the one who owed 500 pence and the other 50. Luke 7.41 Again, the word being translated as pence here refers to denarii, a type of coin worth about as much as an average day's wages, and enough to buy about 18 normal glasses of wine. One debtor owes the creditor a little over a month and a half's worth of wages, while the other is closer to a year and a half's wages. And whereas they had not wherewith to pay, he forgave them both. Which, therefore, of the two loveth him most? Luke 7.42 the creditor decides not to demand the money after all because he sees these two have fallen on hard times and can't pay him back. In Jewish law, he'd be well within his rights to insist that these people be sold, meaning basically work as indentured servants for a certain period until they could pay the money back. However, instead, he decides to let them off the hook. Given the amount of money involved, this is a very generous choice, especially for the one who owed him 500 denarii. So, Jesus asks which of these two will love the creditor more for making this choice. Simon answering said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said to him, Thou hast judged rightly. Luke 7.43 The context of this parable is that Simon is a Pharisee who is looking down on a woman who is trying to honor Jesus. He looked down on her because of her past sins. However, Jesus uses this parable to explain that being guilty of many sins isn't necessarily an insurmountable obstacle, and can even lead to greater love when the sinner seeks forgiveness, as this woman did. Jesus wants Simon to see that scorn is the wrong attitude to take when faced with sinners. We should always seek to encourage repentance and eagerly forgive those who sincerely seek it, since they may become even more loving and closer to God than us. This message of the eagerness of God to forgive, like so many things, is a balancing act, and people can make horrible mistakes about forgiveness on either side, either assuming that God will forgive sinners whether they seek it or not, which the church calls the sin of presumption, or else stressing the horror of evil to the point where no forgiveness is believed to be possible. Both of these mistakes, sadly, are very, very common in today's world. Next, the unforgiving servant. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.